Trenton, New Jersey, a recycling company is collecting discarded cigarettes, millions of them, in fact, in an effort to turn them into something reusable. Jersey correspondent Normie Shannick has more on this highly unusual science project. It's about it. Discarded cigarette butts, they seem to be everywhere littering the streets. Cigarette uh, butts are the most ubiquitous form of litter in the world. There are 3.5 trillion cigarette butts that are littered every single year. What would happen if they served another purpose, were recycled? That's a question scientists at Trenton's TerraCycle are answering. They've been collecting discarded butts in these boxes all over downtown and have volunteers sending them in from across the country. So most cigarette filters are actually a high-grade plastic called cellulose acetate. This is the same plastic that's actually in your sunglasses. In a process developed by the recycling company, the filter is separated from the cigarette and fed into a machine that melts the filter down, creating a string of hard plastic that's cut into pellets. We sell the, pa the pellets to companies who can turn them into things like shipping skids, railroad ties, plastic lumber, and a variety of other building materials. Because they've been exposed to nicotine, the pellets are not used to make household products. Does it make sense to you to recycle the butts? I'm guessing, yeah. Instead of throwing that out in the street. Several smokers told us they'd seen the collection boxes around town but didn't know the story behind them. TerraCycle has made a name for itself globally, repurposing and upcycling items like juice pouches and candy wrappers. Cigarette butts are just the latest project, but not the last. We're working on uh, technology for used chewing gum, for used dirty diapers, all those difficult, gross, expensive things to recycle that nobody else wants to take care of. TerraCycle, that's what we want to focus on. It's all about turning trash into something new. In Trenton, I'm Nora Mushanik, Channel 6 Action News. It's creative for